Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be creating this really fun over-the-top blue sky um, cloudy type of makeup look today. I'm really, really excited to show you guys how I did this look. It's absolutely super duper easy to do. It's just really, really fun actually creating this. Yeah. You guys, I literally have not been uploading videos for two months. I know my bad, but because I literally have schools, exams, and I'm in grade 10, and I cannot explain how hard this grade is. It's really impossible. So yeah, I don't have any time to uh, film or anything like that, but now I'm in my winter break, and I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos for you guys. I can upload them when school is here. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram. It will be in the description box down below. As well, if you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first step is I'm going to take my Retouch Light Reflecting Concealer by Catrice Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply it um, on my eyelids to prep, as well on some spots on my face and underneath my eyes. Eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Morphe X James Charles palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right over here called Playground. I'm going to be using this fluffy brush right over here. And I'm going to tap it on the outer edge of my eye. And I'm gonna blend it out later. So as you see, we're creating kind of a circular shape. We're not applying it all over the lid, just in the outer edge, and we're really, really packing down the pigment. And it goes a little something yeah. like And we're going to copy the same thing on the other eye. That we've packed the pigment on both of the eyes. Now it's time to blend. So I'm going to be taking this clean blending brush with no product on it, and I'm gonna start blending it away. And I'm gonna blend it kind of toward the outer edge. So I'm gonna kind of blend it into a wing type of shape. I don't know how to explain it, but you're gonna see um, how I blend it out. And if some of the pigment gets uh, lost, uh, while we blend, we're going to keep on adding more pigment. Um, as I said, we're going to kind of create this kind of uh, winged out look. So we're going to blend it out like this. And it's okay if it gets sloppy and messy. Um, uh, on the downer end because we're going to be adding more stuff later on there So you guys I don't know why it looks green on camera although it's actually super blue in real life So I don't know what's happening with lighting Situation, but just know it's blue the shade I'm going to be using after I've blended everything out is this shade over here, which is a deeper, darker blue called Brother. And I'm going to be taking it in the same fluffy brush right over here. And I'm going to apply it in the lower lash line, kind of smoking it out towards the end over there. Okay guys, so after I applied the dark blue shade, now I'm going to take this huge, big, fluffy brush, 
I'm going to be dipping in the shade Playground again. And I'm going to apply it right on top of my cheekbones, pretending like I'm applying a little bit of blush, but it's blue blush for today. I'll never catch him while I'm this small. My curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? Next up, I'm going to take the concealer again. And I'm going to apply some on my hands. And I'll be taking this tiny little angled brush to cut the crease. I'm going to do a half cut crease today. shade over here called flashback to set it in place i got to see what brush i'm using i'm using this flat brush After that, I'm going to flip into this side again. With the existing product on it, I'm going to blend the white with the... Set it in place, and I'm going to be using this shimmery blue shade, which is called Hello. I'm going to apply it in the inner corners of my eye with this pencil brush. Before I continue with the look, I just want to um, do some lip care because my lips feel really dry. I'm going to be taking this Amanda um, Lip Balm in Strawberry. I'm just going to apply some to moisture. Okay. Now we're, it's time to do the clouds on the cheeks. I'm going to take my concealer yet again. And applying it. Taking my angled brush again. And um, the trick to doing clouds, I'm going to show you first on my hand before I do it on my face, is take some concealer with this brush and kind of like, it's not that obvious on my hand, but when I apply it on the blue, it's going to be more obvious. Uh, um, and a reminder that clouds are not perfect shapes, so they don't have to be the same size, the same shape, or anything like that. So yeah, let's do some clouds. You guys, I know the clouds are kind of turning a little bit blue, but we're gonna fix that after we just after that, I'm going to take the flashback shade again with this um, 
this angled brush yet again and I'm going to uh, set everything in place. Not everything, well the clouds. And that's going to make them a little bit... Now it's time to do my lashes. I'm going to be applying the Bare Real Mascara. As well as I'm going to be popping on a pair of lashes from the Dauntless Lashes. Guys, so after I have my lashes on, the last step is to apply some lip gloss. I have this um, reddish lip gloss. Actually, I don't know what brand it is from. The name just dropped off, but we're going to use it anyways. Thanks everybody for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, as well as hit the notification button so you can get notified every time I upload any new videos. And make sure you follow my Instagram, it will be linked in the description box down below. And comment down below any other video suggestions you would like to see from me. And I love you guys so, so much. Bye!